What's up, Gork Crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. In this Get Ready With Me, we talk about Ariana Grande's new album, Positions, and also I rank the best and worst celebrity Halloween costumes. So let's get into it. <laughs> So for primer today, I'm going to be, hmm, what am I feeling today? I kind of want to put this new Fenty Beauty, um, it's not new, it's new to me, sorry. It's, um, the Soft Soap, like their hydrating primer to the test, um, because I just, I just want to see, like, what's Miss Girl talking about? So, let me just do this, and I'm going to prime my whole face. I already did my brows off camera, um, but I use the Fenty Beauty Brow Wax and then the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit um, in the shade number five. Ooh, off the bat, this feels so good. Like I said in the intro, I wanted to talk about Ariana Grande's new album, Positions. And honestly, ooh, I'm Fenty. Fenty, we having some good primers. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. We just prime my eyelids because it's bothering me. I had some blue eyeshadow on, but I had to take it off because it was it was giving struggle bus. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but anyway, positions. I am honestly obsessed. You probably could have guessed it just because, like, honestly, I've loved Ariana Grande since Victorious. Like after i can't remember which episode it was i think it was give it up where um i think it was the song give it up where she sang it with um jade and um we actually got to her hear her voice because on victorious i don't know why like i actually want to do a video on this like ranking the most annoying main characters and Tori Vega is definitely on that list. Like, she's just so annoying. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Like, why? You know what's annoying about those, like, those types of, like, main characters? It's because, like, you... It's because you know that the other supporting characters are more interesting, but you choose to focus on the least interesting. Like, Tori Vega was just the least interesting. There was so much potential in Cat, especially vocally, like... Ariana Grande is a star. We see that. We don't know where. Where's Victoria Justice at? Hosting the Kids Choice Awards. Like, please. Anyway, not to drag her. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, that's when I started to stan Ariana Grande. And it's just kind of like solidified over the years, honestly. Um, but I did go to her Yours Truly tour. Um, when she came to the DMV, like I've been, I've been backing this girl since forever. And I kind of fell off, I'm not even gonna lie, because I wasn't the biggest fan of Dangerous Woman that album i don't know like it just like there's some hits on there don't get me confused there's some hits but it just wasn't giving i don't think i said it but to um prime my eyelids i went in with the tarte shape tape and then to set them i'm going in with the banana powder by venti i'm the biggest fan of dangerous woman but after that sweetener really was such a good album thank you next was so bomb and then now positions so positions just came out i listened to it as soon as it dropped um and it featured ty dollar sign doja cat and the weekend i believe and all of the features were just like chef's kiss obviously she literally kills features like she picks especially with this album honestly like in the past she's done like Nicki Minaj and um macy gray like she's always had the best features or she's known who to call on for the best like i don't know she literally she be doing a thing for today's foundation i'm gonna go in with an old favorite which is the fenty beauty hydrating foundation in um 410 i haven't used it in a while so we'll see what she's giving after some time i've been literally cheating on her with um with Huda, like I haven't picked her up in mad long, but listen, today we're picking her up and we're gonna see what she's hitting for. Okay, I will give you guys my top three. Honestly, it's hard to pick because the album is just so good. But the thing that gets me about this album is that it is a body of work, and usually never listen to a whole album anymore or like 
every song doesn't like stick with me but with this album i just felt like i was immersed in a whole um new world <laughs> that sounds cheesy but i'm so serious right now like I swear and I think what also helped with this album is that I did watch um, Ariana Grande's interview with Zach Sang and she started talking about some of the um, different songs and how they all fit together and kind of the meaning behind the song and my top three right now it's gonna be hard just because I really do like all of them but the ones that I play the most which will tell you a lot is I think <laughs> Okay, I really just have two that I really go to. Like, I can listen to the album all the way through, but there's songs that I literally will just be like, I wanna listen to that. And I'll just put on that specific song. And those two songs are Off the Table with The Weeknd and Safety Net with Ty Dolla Sign. I think that Off the Table is the best song on the album. Now given, I've only lived with this album for maybe a day, <laughs> two days now. Off the Table is definitely, I feel like it's my favorite song, but Safety Net is easier to listen to just because the words aren't too much. Like Off the Table is like a really heavy song. It's kind of like ghosting. Like I love that song, but like I have to be in the mood to put it on. So yeah, that's how I feel about positions. And for concealer, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty 360. This is low key a full Fenty face. I'm just gonna go in with um, Shape Tape in deep on the outskirts okay so yesterday was halloween the celebrities did not come to play this year they did not come to play like i feel like all the celebrities that i saw i'm actually gonna take truffle by fenty beauty and just quickly um put on some contour this comes on so creamy i forgot i forgot honestly i haven't seen a bad costume oh there is one. Let me get her out the way. <laughs> well, the only like bad costume that I've seen is Danny Lee. So she decided to dress up as Rihanna from the, I don't know where Rihanna was, but everyone knows this iconic look. Like Rihanna has on this very sparkly dress. And um, I remember like her famous quote, she was like, my titties are dripped in Swarovski crystals, girl. Like the girl was like, why are you naked or something? And Rihanna's like, girl, I'm not naked. I'm dripped in Swarovski crystal. Bother you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're covered in Swarovski crystals, girl. <laughs> literally, Danny Lee, she put on a beach cover up and said, oh. No, her caption was literally, I tried. Girl, what? Did you? Did you try? Because um, there's no, not, no stone, not a crystal. Like, there's... You didn't try. Did not try. You did not try at all. Like, why lie? That's the thing that gets me. Why? Why lie? Why did you have to lie? I hope I can find the receipts because it's so funny. Because it was like, girl, no, you didn't. And people were eating her up. People were eating her up. But she didn't try though. She didn't try. Not one crystal. Anyway, I'm moving on from her because she literally got dragged so much. Okay, so the next. Halloween costume that I'm going to talk about is Kim Kardashian. Um, what's her friend's name? Jonathan? Jonathan. I don't know what his last name is. Jonathan and all of her kids. <laughs> they were Joe Exotic, Carol Baskin, and the Tigers. Literally, you guys, I thought this was one of the best costumes. It was just so funny to me. And it was so unexpected. Like, I was not expecting that from Kim at all. I was like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> and it was so cute because on her story, like, North was singing the song, like, the Savage, but the um, Tiger King version where it's like, Carol Baskin killed her, killed her husband, whacked him. And it's so funny. I don't know if North saw the, maybe she's just on TikTok and saw it, but I was like, wait, did North watch Tiger King? Because <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot for me, <laughs> but... You know, no judgment here. This is a no judgment zone. <laughs> everyone else, aside from Danny Lee, everyone else that I'm talking about, literally like, I love their costumes. Like, I just wasn't expecting it at all. So I think that's why it's like ranked higher. I mean, it's ranked on this best costume because I was just like, what? Um, but yeah, it was so good. Literally in my head, all I'm thinking about is different Ariana Grande songs from Positions. So literally, 
she killed it like I'm sorry next um, Halloween costume that I want to talk about is from Ryan Destiny I don't know her I think her biggest thing I think her biggest thing is star I think I don't think she's done anything else she was in the girl group before star and star is all about a girl group on on Fox let me just go ahead and set this really quickly to bronze up my face I'm actually going to go in with a new Sunstalker bronzer by Fenty it is their caramel cutie I originally got Coco Naughty and I think that was too dark for me so I'm gonna try this one today and we'll see it might not be this powder though it might just be the brush because this isn't a new brush so I don't know. Cute. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead off camera because I cannot talk while doing lashes and liners. So I'll be right back to discuss more Halloween costumes. I just finished um, my eyes and now we're gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna be giving this um, Fenty Cream blush another try. Um, I picked it up in the shade Rose Latte. Let's see what it's giving, shall Let's see if her very good things about this shade in particular. So we shall see. Cute. Cute. Okay, so now for highlighter, you guys know I love this Fenty Pearl. Just a very like natural type of look. For lips today, I'm gonna go in with um, new three by KKW Beauty. I'm just gonna blend that out because I really like a natural type of type of ombre look. For lips, I'm gonna go in with up to no good in the center. My Fenty. Love these lip glosses together. I'm gonna go in first with Trixie by Buxom. It just always makes my new lips look a little bit more pinky. And then I go on on top with the um, Fenty Beauty lip gloss in spacesuit. It was a part of their Galaxy collection, which was limited edition, um, but I hope they bring it back. And yeah, okay, now we're gonna go into hair. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. I wanted to, I'm gonna do it on camera just because um, I didn't get to talk about all the Halloween costumes that I wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is the finished makeup look. Let's do the hair. I have done a wig review on this hair, so if you're interested in like the specs and everything, then definitely I'll have that linked below. But yeah, the next. Halloween costume that I really loved was by Ryan Destiny and she dressed up as Lauren Hill you guys she killed it like the budget the budget was there honey the budget was there it was just so good um it looked like it was very simple like it looked like a simple Halloween costume but like she nailed it um so I love that one and then I also really loved like Sierra actually she's done like every year she's done really well I actually think her um, her costume last year when she was Beyonce and Jay-Z I thought that was like one of her best and this year she kind of did um, she did a lot of hip-hop artists so she did Cardi B she did um, she did Megan Thee Stallion. She did Nikki. I think out of all of them, I liked her Megan Thee Stallion Girls in the Hood Halloween costume because it was just so cute. It was just so well executed. Like, it looked so good. So cute. I'm just gonna fix this up and then we'll close out this video. I don't sleep, but please don't ask me why. When it comes to you, can't help but lie. When it comes to 
off the beef I never had If you got a problem, don't be shy I thought we were cool, so why you nice? Don't repeat myself, won't say it twice Okay, you guys, and that wraps up this chit chat. Get ready with me. Thank you so much for joining me as we talked about Ariana Grande's new album, Positions, and my favorite celebrity Halloween costumes. Again, if you like this 70s expired hair, then definitely check out my wig review on this wig. It's like a $20 wig from Amazon, so definitely snag her. She's cute, whatever. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Close to my toe.